The common theme that unites everyone who comes to the American Society of Mammalogists, who joins the society at some basic level, is just an interest in, and usually what that translates into, is a love for mammals. The society, the membership in the society, is a cross-section of academics, of conservation biologists, government agency members. It really covers a broad span of professions. I think it's important to have a place where people who are specifically working with mammals can come together and concentrate. There's very few people that could really master each of these disciplines uh, on their own, you know. And if you think about it, there's over 4,000 species of mammals, you know. And so um, there's just so, there's so much diversity there that it would be very unlikely that one single person or one single group of people even can really understand the ultimate gamut of all these different disciplines of just mammals. I think this conference has been really good for me. Uh, having won the ASM fellowship last year and, and giving a plenary, I was very nervous. Um, but just the support has been fantastic. And ASM really has this inherent and long-standing like, support for our students. And they really want to support the new generation of, of mammalogists and people who will, will advance the study. Early in the society's history, there was a huge emphasis on simply collecting, documenting natural history. Well, I would say that's still the foundation of a lot of what we do, and it's a critical foundation. But the culture of science in this country has changed, which means that we also need to be, I think, more cognizant in ways of how what we're doing does have connections to, say, conservation or global challenges. And I think those connections are there. I just think perhaps we bear more responsibility going forward to make sure those connections are understood and discussed and conveyed to the public. The, uh, the thing that has always made me come back to this society on an annual basis is that I've always felt a rapport with the individuals that are here. Not just because we share a commonality of interest in mammalian biology, um, but over the years this, be this organization becomes your family. At the end of the day, the most important thing is the relationships that you develop throughout life, right? Everything else is kind of there, you know? And I think that's the beauty of ASM, you know? It actually is a family, you know? It actually is a place where you come and you see the people that you care about. Ideally, they will come to these meetings, they will get hooked the way many of us have. They're usually already passionate about the animals and the work that they're doing, but hopefully they'll get hooked on this as a group of people who share those interests, share that passion, and are just a great community in which to interact, test out new research ideas, talk about your work, get input, get support, develop collaborative relationships, and just kind of catch up really with friends.